Take a closer look at your backyard. Every day, small creatures are embarking on big journeys. Come join us as we start on a little odyssey. The state of Alabama is home to more than 40 different species of salamander. The spotted salamander, known for its vibrant yellow spots, can commonly be found at the Homewood Preserve Trail, right outside of Homewood High School. Salamanders can usually be found under damp logs, alongside their usual favorite snacks of centipedes and other forest floor invertebrates. This is Ambystoma maculatum. That means he is in the family Ambystomatidae, that is the family of burrowing salamanders. And maculatum means spotted, so his name basically means his family name plus spotted. This is Leslie Hinden, an instructional laboratory supervisor at UAB. I can see that he is a male salamander because if you see along his back, all of the spots are yellow, and then closer to his head, the spots are more orange. All salamanders lack scales. Their skin is very sensitive. They are ecological indicators of environmental conditions. So if you were to go to one of the ponds where he would typically be found and would, did not find any, you could estimate that there was probably something toxic in the environment that was preventing them from being there. Salamander sensitive skin leaves them vulnerable to things that enter runoff water, like pesticide, oil, and heavy metals. Their skin is very delicate, and so when you put contaminants to that person, then that's, it's gone. Mm -hmm. But to the salamander, that, that was his home. Thankfully, the water at Home and Preserve Trail still has a healthy pH level for the salamanders. The ideal habitat for the spotted salamander, if you've ever gone along South Lake Shore Drive near Homewood High School, that is where the Homewood Forest Preserve is. And um, each January, at the very end of January, one, there is a festival the last Saturday of each January honoring the spotted salamander. And it's usually right about that date that these salamanders make a very short migration. They go all the way from close to the top of that bluff that is just above South Lake Shore Drive, and they trot down the hill, and then they go to the little temporary ponds that have been created by the rain. The males will drop what is called a spermatophore, and then the females will come by later and pick that spermatophore up. Salamanders migrate across the same path for generations, no matter what obstacles appear in their way. The Friends of Shades Creek and other organizations in town, um, when they know that the salamanders are coming out to do their migration, they have, um, they have a, a, a list of people to call in, you know, 10.30 at night and say, the salamanders are running, the salamanders are running. So that is the call for people to come out on a dreary, dark, rainy night to carefully help these salamanders cross the road. The average spotted salamander is nine inches in length but they can reach up to a meter a second. Unfortunately, in some cases, this isn't fast enough. One year, um, there was a basketball game the very night that the salamanders were crossing the road and many salamanders perished because people just drove down the road on South Lakeshore and didn't, weren't thinking about, you know, a tiny little animal this long that's probably, you know, doesn't show up very well in the dark in the rain and it's not running very fast. Leslie hopes raising awareness about salamanders will change this. If you have people learning at a young age to appreciate, you know, any kind of wildlife, then that stays with them. And I, I've seen people, you know, come back you know, once, they, once they come to college and say, well, I remember when you came to my class when I was in the fourth grade. I'm like, yeah, well, that makes me feel old. But, um, but that is, that's a key thing to, to have us be advocates to, to create more advocates, to have young people particularly learn about not just salamanders, but all kinds of wildlife. And that, you know, since the, the spotted salamander is s central to our community, that's a, a really good jumping off place. To learn more about the spotted salamander in Homewood, or get to meet this gentleman Norbert, the tiger salamander, head over to shadescreek.org to learn more about Friends of Shade Creek and their Salamander Festival. See you next time.
on Little Odysseys.